Welcome to Real Men Eat Green, where manliness meets greenliness. My name is Tony, and today we're making Ballin' Black Bean Burgers. It's a great alternative to your regular hamburger at your hamburger joint, and it's a pretty cheap and a great way to introduce yourself into more sustainable ways of eating, and a delicious one at that. Our main ingredient is, of course, the black bean. I've got some organic black beans. Um, we've got our uh, cilantro, which is gonna go on top, an onion, lime, a nice carrot for our salad, red pepper, some nice whole wheat Kaiser buns, and uh, my favorite ingredient for pretty much everything I eat is sriracha, uh, chili hot sauce, and breadcrumbs as our binder. And over here I've got my uh, chili and cumin mix. We're gonna top our burger off with cheddar cheese, so uh, let's get it started. Let's preheat our oven to 375. Let's get this uh, can of black beans cracked open here. So a lot of people tend to avoid beans, because they uh, get kind of gassy and a little bit smelly and scare off people. But it's actually pretty natural because our bodies, if, especially in the North American diet, we just don't digest beans very well because we're very meat, meaty meat consumers. But in more food traditions like India and Middle East where beans are much more commonplace, they don't have as many problems because they do things like simmer. And uh, I can have this problem too, so when, I did a little bit of research and Rinsing your bean gets off the uh, all the saccharides that don't digest very well in our diet. Gives us bad gas. And the key to a really, really good black bean burger is that you make sure your beans are dry. Otherwise, you get a kind of a soggy bean patty, which nobody really likes. As much of the water I can. I'm dump them to a big bowl, and we're gonna give them a good mash. So you don't need to obliterate your beans into a pulp is you got to make them into a good thick paste and leave some chunks because uh, some chunks are nice to chew into and makes it gives it a bit nicer texture to the burger mm, black beans all right that's about how I like it there just pasty but still beany enough and I'm gonna set this aside and get my onions and my peppers ready beautiful bright red pepper Put it down the middle. I'm gonna remove the core and the seeds here. You only need a half of red pepper, but uh, you can always save the other half for a salad. So I'm just gonna give it a really nice quick chop because it's gonna go into my food processor just in a little bit. I'm gonna go for half my Half my onion. So just like my red pepper, just need a quick chop because it's gonna get mixed in there with the red pepper. And if you're an onion fan, you can take the other half and saute them, to put on the burger later. So let's stick it in there. So I'm a fan of garlic, so I'm gonna put in about three to four cloves. I'm gonna put four today. This one's a pretty big one. All right, I'm just gonna cut off the little stem part there of the garlic just because it's hard and we don't want hard bits in our burger. So if you don't have a uh, food processor, um, you can really, you can kind of mash it down. We, what we need is a really fine pulp. All right, so that's about the consistency we want. A really nice, nice mince. It's beautiful red and the garlic and the smell. onion smell is really, really nice. I'm gonna add it to the beans that we mashed earlier. Let's get a good dump in there. All right, so my chili and cumin mix that I had later, it's a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of chili powder. And then I'm gonna mix one egg. And I find adding the spices into the egg mixture before helps it mix into the burger much, much more nicely. I'm gonna add about two, two teaspoons or so. It's really hot. So add as much as you desire, or you can use something more mild, or you can even omit it if you like, if you're not into the spice. I'm gonna give my mixture a good stir, make sure everything, the beans and the onions and 
Get that pepper mush get it in there and the eggs and the spices. So make sure it's really well incorporated before we add our final ingredient. And that's the breadcrumbs. A three quarter cup or so of, of uh, breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna keep stirring it until it all comes together. So if you feel it's kind of really mushy and not really holding together very nicely, you can always add more breadcrumbs, which will really help. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here, probably about a quarter teaspoon. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of black pepper. That's our burgers. We're gonna split them to four. Get it ready for the oven. Four nice patties. I've got a oiled sheet ready to go. There we go. Another one there. All right, so we're gonna pop them in the oven for 10 minutes on each side. If you have a grill, you can grill these too. Just put a piece of foil underneath and grill on each side for eight minutes. The crown jewel of the black bean burger is what goes on top, chipotle mayo. So it's really, really easy, just like the burgers. We're gonna add half a cup. I'm using a uh, canola-based oil, eggless. But you can use regular mayo, light mayo, whatever mayo you want. But a burger needs mayo. These are chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. And adobo sauce is just what it sits in, kind of a sweet sauce with the spices infused into it. We need two of these. Two, mm, and add three. And we need about a tablespoon of that sauce that's in there. So you can kind of press down. And I'm gonna add a lime. So a really good trick for juicing limes. Always give it a good roll on the counter. So we only need about half a lime. I'm gonna squeeze in half a lime. Just use my fingers, catch the seeds. Yeah. A clove of garlic. Oh yeah, that smells good. Goes really good with burgers, but great with fries. All right, so our burger's ready to be flipped. It's been about 10 minutes. Flip that one over. Put them in for another 10 minutes. All right, so I've got two nice, firm Kaiser buns here, whole wheat. I'm gonna cut them in half and I've got about a few minutes left before I gotta take the burgers out. I'm just gonna plop them in there too to get some, get them nice and toasted. And we're gonna top our burgers off with cheese. Let the cheese melt, buns get toasty, and we can start to assemble our burgers. I've had some time to sit in the oven, put our buns in there, get a little bit toasty, and our cheese on top of the burger to melt a little bit. Now it's the best part, get to assemble our burgers. A little bit of ketchup, a little mustard. All right, one of our burger patty goes on top here, like that. And I'm gonna top it off with some nice mixed baby greens. You can add tomato if you like, whatever vegetables goes on here. And we're gonna sandwich the greens. I'm just gonna put a little bit of cilantro in here too. Put some nice Chipotle mayo there. I don't know, I like a lot of mayo. <laughs> Put a few red peppers in there. I'm gonna serve this burger with a nice salad. There you go. Ballin' black bean burger with Chipotle mayo and a nice green salad.